I'm not sure if I should be making this video now. I don't think it'll really matter, actually. But I want to go ahead and show you guys one of the best, if not the best. Probably not the best. It's probably better stuff. But this is really, really good. Basically, a pretty good speed farming setup. Like, really good. You can use it for delves, but there's probably better stuff for delves. This still works really good for that, though. So first up, we have the free range electrolyte crystals. And these don't really help that much for speed farming unless you need light to, you know, deal more damage. But the 3 jump and 1 flask capacity, it's pretty good to have health regen. We just don't really talk about it because it's health regen and it sucks. As for the ring, I have a crystal 3 ring. You can have stellar, like, lowest I would recommend is a stellar ring. But if you can, go for at least C1. You want a C4, preferably. But anywhere from C1 to C4 is a pretty good ring. And what you want as your third stat is either Magic Find or Energy Regen. I have Magic Find just because I have a, you know, Magic Find setup. But the reason why you want Energy is because when you go to a Cursed Skull, you don't actually want to shoot the enemies from the Cursed Skull. You want to be using your Snare because it does a lot of damage, as you can see, and it has big AoE. So if you just, like, look down and just, you know, throw your Snare, you're going to be hitting everything around you. Again, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to shoot stuff because your stuff, like your arrows don't phase through enemies. You want to actually, you know, be doing this. And as you can see, I have no ER, so I am I can only like throw two at a time. So you, you probably want some, but I, I just prefer magic find over it. As for the face and hat, um, for me personally, I swap my face and hat between classes. But say you're only, like, say this hat and face is only for the Shadow Hunter. What you want is pretty much what I have, where you want movement speed as a third stat. You can either have physical damage or magic find for the fourth stat. And then for the last stat, you want crit damage. Because you don't need attack speed, as you can see. You know, as long as you have your class gem you have basically, you know, above max speed. Like, if I stop, it's 167. I shoot again, it's eight, it's uh, 835. So, you don't need attack speed. I believe you can also have a crit damage as the third stat. You cannot change the third stat on Crystal Gear unless it's a, you know, second stat reroll. Like, second slash third stat reroll. Which, currently it is. Hent is basically the same movement speed magic find crit damage and then the bow is basically you know the same where magic or uh movement speed magic find crit damage these are pretty good uh instead of crit damage you can have energy regen instead of the crit damage which you might want to do just because I, I don't know if the 42 percent crit damage is going to do that much but like i said you want to be able to you know cast your uh snares a lot you could use Zealous Emblem, like, you know, just spam one and, you know, drink a flask and do that. If you really wanted to do that, but I don't know. ER is probably just uh, a little better to have. As for the ally, I'm using the animated jug. I think there's technically a better ally now that came out with the Paragon stuff, like the Paragon allies. But if you do want speed, I think the best ally is the clonish kicker the only issue is that it's a dev ally which i don't have myself it's literally the same thing but instead of like you know light and damage you're throwing that out the window for five movement speed so it i don't know it's not really that worth it but if you, technically if, if you want to move like the fastest you can this is the ally you would go for right for the banner i'm using the Torch of the Saber Skull, which is a U10. Uh, it's, it's the U10 perma. I, as you can see, it says magic damage, which it's only 500. I know Shadow Hunter is physical damage, but it's like, I, I don't care. It's only 500. It's not going to do anything. So you, I would assume there's a variant that has, you know, physical damage instead of magic. But the reason why you want this is because it has movement speed. I, I don't know if any other banner has movement speed. I just know that the uh, perma torches do. So if you want that, like if you want the most speed, just go for the U10 perma torch and just get the 10 movement speed one. Again, I, I assume there would be a, you know, physical damage variant. I don't know. I haven't looked in a while. 
For your emblems, you want the Trailblazing Emblem, which I believe gives you like 20 movement speed when you use it. Uh, you can use Marshall. You don't really need it. I, I just have Marshall because I don't know what else I would have. You, uh, I guess you could have Chrono Emblem or Zealous. Actually, Zealous might be what you want. Like, Zealous might be a good uh, alternative. Let me do that. Like, let me just, yeah, just use Zealous. For the flasks, there's actually three that are really good. The first one is Death Defying, which, as the name would suggest, you, it basically saves you from dying. There are some attacks in the game that get through this, but you're not really going to deal with it if you're speed farming. But yeah, it'll just use a flask. This is the most common one that people use just because, you know, it's the laziest, I guess. The next one, which I completely forgot that this flask existed, is the Evasive Vial. And this one is really good because it triggers your uh, it triggers your emblem effects when you dodge. Like, sometimes. It's not guaranteed. But the reason why it's good is because your movement speed comes from you dodging. So, you know, you're going to be dodging a lot because you're going to be refreshing your cooldown. So, you know, why not just have the chance to proc your emblems, right? It's weird, though, because it says it has a, like, it says it'll give you a random emblem effect, but it always gives you the two that you have on. So, obviously, this is, like, a mistake on the description. I don't know what the chance is for this to proc. I would probably say, like, like, you're probably going to be rolling, like, five to ten times before you actually get the, like, you know, stuff. But yeah, this is good if you don't have a lot of magic find. And if you don't, like, if, if you want to try to, you know, I don't know, conserve flasks, I guess. But as you can see, the chance isn't that great. I'm actually getting really unlucky because normally I would have had it by now. But yeah, this is good if you don't have a lot of magic find. And then the last one is the Conjurer's Crucible. Now this flask is really good if you have high magic find. Uh, even with my 5,000 magic find, I basically proc this every single time. So what this does is, it ha it says it has a chance to recover a charge when magic find triggers. Uh, there's no cooldown on this, by the way. So if you proc magic find twice, you're likely to get two flasks, which is pretty good. It says it has a chance, but it may as well be guaranteed, because I don't think I've actually ever not gotten a flask. So... I don't know, and like I said, there's no internal cooldown, so you, anytime magic find triggers, you just basically get flasks back. You don't need that much magic find, because this is without patron, by the way, I would have like 13k with it, just, you know, with all my stuff. And you probably can have like, I don't know, 2,000, 3,000 magic find uh, before like you start constantly propping it on stuff I don't actually know. But, yeah, I just know that with my, like, 5k, 6k, like, I proc it, like, all the time. For your subclass, there are a couple you can use. You can use the Candy Barb subclass, which has a chance to give you a piece of candy, which is the red one that gives you movement speed. Uh, it gives you 20, whereas the Lunacy gives you 15. The major difference, though, is that this one is more consistent. Like, when you hit stuff and get Lunacy, you know, you'll always get that movement speed. With this one, though, if I go ahead and hit something, I got, I got the movement speed candy. But sometimes you can get, like, a black piece of candy, which uh, gives you attack speed, I think. No, healing. Wait. Yeah, attack, movement, or healing. So, yeah, you can get, like, multiple candy instead of, like, like, see, like that one, right? Like, it's not the... You know, it's not movement speed, so I didn't get any movement speed. So, Luna Lancer might be better for you. It's just five less movement speed. I just use this one because I like it more. You also could be using the Pirate subclass, which is the one that I usually use just because I I want Magic Find. Like, that's just how I get my Flux in U10 and all that. U8, U10, whatever. So, you could do that, but for in terms of speed farming, either Sugar Rush or uh, Sort of Crazy, I guess that's what it's called. I don't know why it's called that. But yeah, you could use Luna Lancer subclass or this one. It, it, it's either or. It's your preference. For the gems, we have the Shadowhunter class gem, obviously. We have the Pyre Disc, which has a chance to surround you with a flaming disc when you kill something, so. That gives you speed. I think that gives you like what 20, 20, 30. I, I don't know, but it's like it's kind of high. 
And then the other one you want is the Vampirian Vanquisher, which when you deal a crit hit, uh, you have a chance to get a movement speed buff. It, you know, it's just more movement speed, why not? I, I don't think the last gem matters, I just have Myron Mojo, or whatever, Myron Mojo, whatever. It, it doesn't matter, I, I basically, I try to get this one and this one, I don't care what the other one is, that's just how it is. But yeah, that's basically it. If I did forget something, I'll hopefully add it in post, but I'm pretty sure I got everything that I, like, wanted to cover. That's going to be it for the video, guys. So if you liked the video, like would be appreciated, as well as a sub if you liked what you saw. And I am out. I will see you next time.